Hi folks, Tim here again with timsclass.com. Today we're gonna to cover chisels. Uh, we got a wide assortment of chisels here and we're just gonna briefly touch on most of them. Let's start with the most common, a wood chisel. A couple of things I wanna go over with you. Uh, this particular wood chisel is a cobalt, just a regular inexpensive one from Lowe's. When you go to sharpen these, this is something that you find very common. If you look at the blade on this, this needs to be a fairly sharp edge, okay? You never wanna come over here to a grinder and sharpen this on a grinder. If you sharpen it on a grinder, this is all tempered metal, which means it's been heated and cooled and heated and cooled through a series of steps to, to basically harden this steel. So the way you'd want to sharpen these is with a file, all right? You'd want to get a metal file similar to this, and you'd put this down somewhere, and then make sure you're following that contour, and you go in one direction, sharpening your tool that way, all right? Which, incidentally, if anybody here has a lawnmower blade, you've ever tried to sharpen your lawnmower, lawnmower blade, the same principle applies. Never use a grinding wheel it will reheat the metal and it will lose its temper. So let's just use this wood chisel. One, some of the common mistakes that people make is they try and chisel out like this, all right? What that's gonna do is dig deep into your wood and that's not what you wanna do. So first thing you wanna do is outline the area that you wanna chisel out and you do that simply by taking, setting the chisel, take a rubber mallet and you're gonna tap it down as you go across with the grain and across the grain. And you'll notice when you hit it, going across the grain, it's a lot stiffer. So it's a little bit harder to go across the grain of the wood. So we've, we've already quartered this out and you wanna cut it in about quarter inch increments. Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna set our chisel like this and we're gonna try and come about whatever depth we want. And we're just gonna tap. at this quarter inch at a time All right if you want to go deeper you just repeat the process so take it down outline it uh, once you get it down about where you want to go you're going to put your mallet down and then you're just going to take it by hand and you're going to whittle away on it okay? i think i need to sharpen that a little more and you got various sizes, different shapes, but they all do the same thing. Those are your wood chisels, all right? Next thing we wanna cover, these are all kinds of different chisels, and these are for wood, wood carvers. If you're uh, into the wood carving business and you wanna do all kinds of neat little tricks and, and uh, techniques, I mean, there, there are just tons of different profiles on these wood uh, wood carving tools. Uh, I'm not a wood carver, so I'm not even gonna try and show you how this works. But this was something that I wanted to get into and eventually one day I'm gonna learn how to use all these. So always be learning. All right, next chisel, cold chisels. All right, you'll look at these, you'll see that the tips are on a 60 degree angle all right, they're not sharp. And these are used primarily for steel and for uh, concrete, okay? Any type of masonry product. And you're gonna use these, uh, let's say, let's come over here. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's, let's, let's show you rather how these punches work, okay? The chisels, let's say I wanted to break a, a stone in half. I would take that chisel do the same thing I did with my rock hammer. I would take and just tap on it a few times that this was a brick. Tap my way across it, and then I'd be able to hit it and it would break right there, okay? So that's how that works. Uh, we've got punches here, and these are pretty neat little tools. Let's step over here to the vise. I've got a piece of sheet metal here. And you can tell I've already taken my ball peen hammer and flattened that out. And let's say I wanted to punch a hole in that. So I would take this punch, put it where it's gonna go right in between. All right, and I can punch.
punch a hole through the metal. Don't know if I can get it back out, but I can punch it through. Okay? And that's what these are. They're punches. Let's set that aside. So we've got punches. We've got cold chisels. Uh, we've also got some center point. Uh, and this is if you want to countersink something. Can't get these out. You'll notice this has got a point on it. These are hole centering. Again, these are used for metal. Uh, illustrate, I've got some other ones right here. Let's just take one of these that's got a sharper point on it right here. If I wanted to drill, this is a three eighths inch steel. If I wanted to drill a hole in this, if I were to take and just put my drill to it, it's gonna spin around everywhere. It's not gonna dig in. So the first thing I wanna do is punch a hole in it. Let me grab my right hammer here. I'll punch a hole, but get a, get a point started. See that little point right there? That's gonna allow my drill bit to actually find that center point and stay in that area so it doesn't wobble around. These are very, very handy if you're gonna be doing any metal work. Those are punches. These are basically the same thing. This is a pretty neat little item. This is, if you've only got one hand, it's actually got a spring in it. So I can push that down and it automatically shoots it in. So if I want to do it one hand, I can do that. This is a metal scribe. A lot of times when you're trying to make a mark to cut steel, it's very hard to see. Well, with this metal scribe, I can actually draw a line that I can see with that scribe, okay? And that's got a tungsten tip on it, which is very, very hard, and it's able to see it on steel. Okay, we've got some regular nail sets right here, all different sizes. All right, and these are all dependent on the type of finishing nail that you're using. These are for trim carpenters, and you'll use these quite often. So I've got over here, I've got a trim nail started right here. I'm going to go ahead and drive it down. And I would want to stop right there because I wouldn't want to mess up my wood. By key. If I keep hitting, I'm going to make indents on my wood. But I need that nail to be down below so that I can caulk over it where I can paint it. So I'm going to use that nail countersink and see how it pushed the nail down below the surface of the wood. And I could take and put caulk or some wood filler or something and fill in that hole and you'd never know it had ever been nailed. That's the purpose of these countersinks. And I think that pretty well sums up all the different chisels and countersinks and nail sets and everything that we've touched on here today. You'll enjoy using these tools. Pick you some up. Thanks. Have a good day.